A few people have recently been asking about the newfangled wizards that come bundled with Mark III standard. Well, so when you install the software, it's there automatically when you go to use the software. The only problem is, is that you have to buy a license to actually use that that plugin or that, that wizard within Mark III. Um, I've got a way around it. Some people might already know about this, but I just want to let everybody know about it. Uh, you don't need to buy a license. It, it will work anyway. So just I just want to show you something here. This is my G-code folder here. This is the standard G-code folder within Mark III, within the install directory of Mark III. Now you can see there that there's no programs within that folder. None. I've taken them all out, got rid of them here for this, this example. So we're going to go into the wizard. It's telling us here we can trial it, but you've got to go to Newfangled Solutions and buy our license. Okay. So within this first screen that comes up, you've got material selection and what have you, that you can select materials. I've got some materials set up within this. So I click continue. We might cut a circle. I've got tools already set up here and some spindle speeds get dropped in there. Okay, so we're gonna continue. We set up the parameters here for what the circle size is that we want and your clearance height and depths and whatnot, climb or conventional, inside or outside, millimeters. Now, with the bundled plug-in or the bundled wizard, you can preview all you like. It will show you what the wizard is capable of and it will show you this Oh, well, this code here that, that you would normally, if you had a license, be able to post it out. Well, I'll just save my settings there. I'm going to have a go and post this code out. I'm going to show you what it does. So we post it. Click on exit. That'll take you back to Mark III. And it'll tell you there, unlicensed wizard file. Well, that's no good, is it? I told you we could, we could use it. Well, here's the thing. We go back to my G-code G folder and here's two programs that have been generated in here from using that newfangled wizard. One is test and one is new program. Now test. Test is the program that you've seen in the preview. That's exactly how it was in the preview. So you could go ahead and use that if you like. But the one that says new program that is the actual code that would normally get posted if you had the license file. So there you are guys, that's how you get around it. Now I've just got to tell you this though, we'll close that G code, we'll go back here. Now, if you go and use Newfangled Wizard there, every time you do post out the program, it's going to overwrite these. So if you, if you do post out a program that you want to keep, obviously close that program there, otherwise you can't rename it. Just rename it, and I'll just call it Circle. So now that's there. We can open it. That's the file, that's the file that we had before. Close that G code. We go back. We do the same thing again. This is if you wanted to do another, say another program. We'll do a pocket this time. That's a spiraling outwards pocket. We'll post the code. Exit. Go back, do the same thing. You'll see new program there again. Open him up. Circular pocket. And away you go. Well, I hope this helps some people. There you have it.